Hello everyone, this is my next video lecture regarding your inorganic chemistry. After S block elements and P block elements, we will discuss some properties of a periodic table. Hopefully, you have checked that videos. So, now what is a periodic table? Basically, this is one table which is required if you want to study chemistry by understanding. So, to make your understanding and reasoning clear especially for inorganic chemistry one must have a good knowledge of a periodic table so by having this look of a periodic table it seems very difficult and totally confusable and attention is there that how we will remember this but by now with this lecture before this you know how to remember s block you know how to remember p block soon i will give you a video regarding d block and f block also but before that we have to know what are the properties of a periodic table so what to do or how to do after having a look of a periodic table this is the question came in everyone's mind so with so many elements in a periodic table we get a little nervous that how tricky it is how difficult to remember the things so scientists help us and they make it possible for us to remember the elements by arranging them in a suitable and a perfect order that is why they group the elements into different groups and in this lecture we will cover the different blocks of a periodic table and the different properties of a periodic table so I will tell you this in brief. So, the periodic table is arranged according to the periodic properties in terms of ionization energy, electron negativity, atomic radius, electron affinity, metallic character. So, the periodic table arranges the elements by periodic properties which are recurring trends in physical and chemical characteristics. So, this is a periodic table. In periodic table, we have a S block, we have P block, we have D and F block. So, what we will discuss, we will discuss here why these S block, P block, T block are arranged so like in this way. So, first thing is this, this symbol. Basically, this symbol represents the symbol of an element. For example, here X is a symbol and A is the atomic number and M is the mass. So, atomic number is written on the top either on the left or on the right hand side but on the top we have an atomic number and in the base we have atomic mass in this lecture I haven't covered the masses for all the elements because it is difficult to remember all the mass of a periodic table have elements the required one I have shared with you for atomic number 1 to 30 the leftover the things the properties we will discuss in this lecture this is a very important lecture on the point of view of inorganic chemistry even for 11th and 12th class and even for the graduation and even master classes so in this we will discuss why they said this S block why they said this is a P block why they said this is a D block and why they said this is a F block so to check all these things one must know what are are the reasons behind this for the arrangement of these elements in a periodic table so what they do they just write the electronic configuration of elements of all the elements video for electronic configuration how to do will be there in few days on my channel so after having an electronic configuration of all the elements they check that the elements which are having a s orbital in the outermost or a valence shell they arrange them in a s block by naming them s block the elements with the outermost shell in a p block or a ending electron entered in a p orbital they represent them as a p block and the elements in which electrons entered last in the d shell or we can say d orbital they represent it with the d and the element for a electron entering in the last shell is f they represent them uh, as a f this f orbital or f block is just coming from this portion after 57 we have a 58 and after 89 we have a 90 so f block and d block this is the reason i have written d and f block so the general configuration for s block you can check that is ns2 for all the s block elements outermost shell will be ns2 for p block we have ns2 np6 configuration and for a d block we will have ns2 
0 to 2 n minus 1 p 6 and n minus 1 d 1 to 10. This is the reason these elements are written in d block because they are ending with the n minus 1 d orbital and this is the reason they are as a p block as I said earlier also and this is the reason they are written as a ns2 and this n represents the period and I said you in last lecture in which s block is discussed with you by me that we have a seven period so this is the period number one this is the period number two this is the period number three four five six and seventh is this period so in this period the s value represents the one two three up to seven so what we can see in hydrogen we have a one electron so its configuration is one s one in lithium here n will be two so its outermost will be two s one here it will be two s two you can check and you know if you are a student of 12th class that what I am saying and if you are from a plus one class then soon you will check that how to check the electronic configuration when you will know about the electronic configuration how to fill the electrons in an atom in an orbital. So this is what the S block, the D, P block, the D block and the F block. So basic reason is that they are on the uh, outermost electron is present in which shell represents its block or the outermost electron present in which orbital it represents its block. So this is the structure of an atom and I am saying this this is the outermost shell of this particular atom so likewise this electron this outermost electron will tell you about the block in which your atom lying in s block p block t block or f block so moving to the physical properties there are nine properties which i am going to discuss with you in this lecture atomic radii ionic radii ionization enthalpy electron negativity electron affinity metallic and non-metallic character allotropy catenation melting and boiling point so this is the main scenario how these property vary from moving from left to right top to bottom in a periodic table by knowing these properties you can check this scenario easily so first property is atomic radius or atomic radii so it is the distance definition is the half of the distance between the nuclei in a covalently bonded diatomic molecule so we have a two atom and the distance between the half of the distance between the nuclei of two covalently bonded diatomic molecule will represent the atomic radii so radius decreases across a period and in because increased effective nuclear charge due to the decreased shielding radius increases down a group each row on a periodic table adds a shell or energy level to them so here what we are discussing that while moving from left to right in a periodic table number of shell remains same effective nuclear charge increases so we can say the atomic radii decreases but while moving from right to left while moving from right to left number of shell remain same but charge decreases so atomic radii increases and while moving from top to bottom we have a uh, number of shell increasing as we know first period moved to seven period so by increasing the number of shell the atomic radii increases atomic size increases so this is the reason that why the atomic radii increases so in nutshell we can say that while moving from left to right in a periodic table atomic radii decreases and moving from top to bottom atomic radii increases so now next is your ionic radii basically ions we know in your 10th class also ions are basically of two types that is your cation and anion cation carry positive charge and anion carrying a negative charge so cations are the positively charged ion formed when an atom of a metal loses one or more electrons so the cation will be smaller than its parent electron and in anion the negatively charged ions are formed by the addition of electron so they will be larger always for example if we are having a cation of this atom then it will be of this size always smaller than this but if we are having a anion of this then it will be of bigger size than the parent atom so this is your parent atom this is the parent atom of this so this is an ion carrying negative charge this is a cation carrying positive charge so we can say cation is always smaller than its parent atom but anion is always greater than its parent atom so this is the trend of 
now this is the trend of ionization enthalpy firstly what is ionization enthalpy it is the basically energy required to remove the electron from the outermost shell of an atom which is present in a gaseous state so while moving from left to right in a periodic table as we know that size decreases therefore ionization enthalpy increases because from moving from this to this side we know that here if the size of atom is this one here the size will be lesser so the electrons are more tightly held by the nucleus so it is not possible to remove electron from this atom easily in comparison to this this is the reason that ionization enthalpy or ionization energy goes on increase from left to right but on moving from top to bottom we can say that as size increases therefore it is easy to remove the electron from an atom from the valence shell therefore ionization enthalpy or energy decreases while moving from top to bottom so we can say that ionization enthalpy basically is inversely proportional to atomic size or atomic radii this is your atomic radii or atomic size so more is the atomic size lesser will be the ionization enthalpy lesser will be the atomic size more will be the ionization enthalpy and this is i have shown you also this is that increasing ionization enthalpy because size goes on decreasing and this is size goes on increase so ionization enthalpy in downward decreases and in upward it will increase now your fourth property is electronegativity electronegativity is a measure of ability of an atom to attract the electron towards the itself or we can say that it is ability or a power of an atom to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself so its value generally increases from left to right across a periodic table and its value generally decreases from top to bottom of a group so it is somehow its trend is somehow similar with the first ionization enthalpy but this is different from the ionization enthalpy this property is different from the ionization enthalpy for example we are having a compound of hcl so a bond is present between hydrogen and chlorine so we know that the electrons are present in a bond one is from hydrogen and other electron is from chlorine but this electron pair is more towards the chlorine in comparison to hydrogen because chlorine is a more electronegative so this is the property which i am discussing here that it will increase from left to right and decrease from top to bottom now the next property is electron affinity it is the energy change in addition of an electron to a gaseous state so when we add electron in a gaseous state of an atom then the energy is released or required we can say is the electron affinity so as we move down a group electron affinity decreases and as we move across a period electron affinity increases same is here with the first ionization enthalpy and electronegativity and electron affinity but the properties are totally different but the trend is same so we can say halogens have the highest electron affinities as we move from left to right metals have low electron affinities affinity tends to increase across a period and decrease down a group this is the metallic and non metallic character so we are discussing the metallic and non metallic character basically metallic character is link up with the electro positive character which is the removal of electrons so metallic character goes on increase from right to left and we can say goes on decrease from left to right and metallic character increases as we move downwards because atomic size increases and if atomic size increases its electro positive character increases and with increase in electro positive character its metallic character increases so we can say that we with increase in atomic size metallic character also increases and vice versa for a non metallic character now next property is allotropes this is a property of an element in which one element can exist in more than one form so these are the few elements which exist in their allotropes carbon phosphorus oxygen sulfur boron and silicon in this lecture i will discuss the some allotropes of carbon here so we have a carbon this you have studied in your 10th class also carbon exists in two allotropes crystalline and amorphous then further crystalline form exists in three types diamond graphite and fluorines this you know that diamond and graphite and this is the fluorine the optical wires are formed by these and the amorphous amorphous things are coke carbon black and charcoal so these are the allotropic forms of a carbon now the allotropic forms of phosphorus generally phosphorus mainly exists in four types here i have discussed with you 
three types that is white red and black these are most important from them this is the allotrope of sulfur sulfur form more than 30 type of allotropes discussed i have discussed with you rhombic amorphous monoclinic this is a structure of rhombic amorphous and monoclinic types and we can say similar with the carbon sulfur exist in crystalline and amorphous and further crystalline into two rhombic and monoclinic and amorphous in plastic colloidal and milk of sulfur now the next is your catenation property it is a self linking property of an element which is known as a catenation for example carbon when form bond with its atom is a catenation property it can make single bond double bond and even triple bond so this is the property of catenation this property is maximum seen in carbon and in phosphorus but the no multiple bond will form in nitrogen multiple bond will form in the formation of n2 molecule in detail i will discuss this property when i will discuss your uh, with you the groups of a periodic table this is the melting and boiling point property basically melting and boiling point link with the strength of the bond stronger is the bond formation or stronger is the bond higher is the melting and boiling point this is the reason that metals have high melting and boiling point because they are having a strong force of attractions so this is the summary of periodic table how the metallic character increases atomic radii increases ionic size increases electronegativity increases ionization energy increases electron affinity increases so this is all the scenario of the whole lecture i delivered to you right now this is the trend as so i can say that you can correlate this trend with this atom if this size decreases this size decreases the attraction of nucleus with the electron increases and this nucleus will not allow electron to go easily this is the reason that ionization enthalpy decreases but when this atom increases for example electron is present in this shell now the electron is away from nucleus so it is not Uh, possible for a nucleus to attract this electron as stronger as this electron so this is the reason to remove this electron it is quite easily we need a lesser energy in comparison to this electron now this is the overall merits and demerits of a periodic table uh, we can say merits are that it is based on a periodic table so we can easily remember the atomic numbers its position according to configuration is there then periodic properties show a gradual increase or decrease in the properties and you can easily remember this by using the atomic number and blocks of a periodic table but some demerits are that its position of hydrogen that is not satisfactory even uh, we are fail to accommodate the inner transition elements this we will discuss in the d block chapter or d block video lecture and the few of the arrangements are not according to configuration so these are some demerits but in short i can say that demerits are not that much heavy on the merits of a periodic table because this is periodic table makes our life easy so i will say that it is easy to correlate things so this is the again a trend you can say by check this arrow so thank you hope you guys like this video